We are less than a week away from the first anniversary of the March 31st tornado. That's where we're going to start tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rolly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. As we approach that milestone, you see signs all over the area of how a year just isn't enough time to fully recover. Tonight, th 11s Brooke Buckner shows us how some Little Rock businesses are still dealing with the aftermath. This stretch of Cantrell Road was directly in the tornado's path, and businesses in the area are still making repairs. Trios is one of them. We continue to have some ventilation problems in our kitchen. And now the restaurant temporarily closed again to fix it. Owner Cappy Peck says they faced a lot of challenges this past year. We've had um, uh, a big mess uncovering things that, you know, one wouldn't expect to find in a building from 1986, a lot of nooks and crannies and turns, but uh, they're doing a great job. Upstairs in Pavilion in the Park, Arkansas Healing Arts Massage and Wellness is also navigating some obstacles. We're currently in the process of moving to another suite because they're going to start um, construction on the roof. And this isn't the first time they're having to relocate. Office manager Jane Rincon says they had to move over to university for eight months before coming back here in January. Now she's just making sure clients know where to find them. It's been a challenge and we've just been trying to give them a heads up, send them a text with the proper address on it and give them some direction to get into this building. Across the street at the Purple Cow, construction is starting soon too. We've got plans that are being submitted to the city this week, depending on how quickly they turn those around, we'll be able to start construction first half of April, hopefully uh, on the earlier side of that. And from there, Purple Cow's president Ken Vaughn says he hopes it's a smooth process with no more holdups. There's going to be a lot of elements on the inside that I think people are going to really appreciate and enjoy. Little Rock's very resilient and we're going to come back stronger than ever. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Trio's hopes to open back on Monday and as of right now, Purple Cow doesn't have an exact completion date but expects to announce that in the next couple of weeks. The owner of Pavilion in the Park tells us they hope to have all the repairs done in about a year. 